Hi, I'm Kenny. And I'm Abish. And we're going to be a part of Breeze of Vivid. A show where Kenny and I go on a crazy adventure with two of our friends. We've got Sarah Jane Dias. And we got Varun Thakur. You sent us your suggestions. You made our bucket list. We're in Croatia! <laughs> but I'm in Mumbai. Wait, my passport isn't ready, guys. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hi, I'm Varun. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we're at the capital city of Croatia, Zagreb. Woo! Yeah! Breeze of Vivid is finally happening. Finally happening. We got a crew. We're here. Yeah. Abish is missing. Cue sad face. We need to address the elephant in the room. Abish's passport was rejected by the Indian government. Cheers, guys. Enjoy yourself. Speaking of rejection, let's go to the best place to deal with rejection. A bar? We're at the Museum of Broken Relationships. Or as Kenny likes to call it, his dating life. So, the Museum of Broken Relationships grew from a traveling exhibition revolving around the concept of the failed relationships and their ruins. So basically, it's a museum about broken, broken relationships. relationships. Yeah. So I apparently, think, uh, people leave things behind. This is a two-day relationship. Way too romantic in the beginning. <laughs> I'll draw for you, baby. Please. So they were playing Uno and the guy put his last card down without saying Uno and the girl caught him and he's like, no, but I said Uno. Oh, you don't say Uno. Oh, and boom. Break up. The tale of the Uno breakup. I win! No, you didn't say Uno. I said Uno. You didn't say Uno. I said it. You didn't say it, okay? I, you should have just played poker. You know what? I'm breaking up. Uh, uh, fine. Don't forget to give the box to the Museum of Broken Relationships. You want to hear about a real broken relationship? It's about a boy and his passport. Okay, let's put this on a wall. Oh, once upon a time, there was a boy who had a passport, but there was a name correction that had to happen on his passport. What did not happen? Hence, his friends went to Croatia, and because of legal complications, he couldn't go to Croatia. We've sat down to a traditional Croatian lunch. It's the best Croatian meal we've had. Also, the only Croatian meal we've ever had. Forward. Take your right palm and place it on the ground. Who's the big girl? <laughs> Who's the big girl? So we just got done with our first and last day at uh, Zagreb. Uh, we had a lot of fun, we did a lot of things. Yes. But <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow is a special day. And tomorrow we're going to be in Dubrovnik! He's not supposed to say that. Yeah. No, he's going to edit it. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that who jumps out of a boat, not not pushed out of a boat. Adventure is like my middle name, you know. We saw the cave. The cave doesn't have a name, but after I went through it, decided to call it Cave Sebastian. Uh, Mabe here was very worried about me, but <laughs> you don't have to, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He cares about me a lot. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're friends Olympic now. champion. Olympian champion. Olympian yeah. champion. Oh, come on. So earlier on the boat, Kenny got to have all the fun, he went to the water, mainly because we pushed him. Uh, Sarah and I feel a little left out, so now uh, we're going to come and jump off your Kenny, do not try! <laughs> Today was a fun day. Yup, and tomorrow's going to be even more. More fun. Da, 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 Hi mom. I have a throne. I'd like to thank the many people I stepped on to get here. Guys, I'm, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. I've seen every season front to back three times. I know every character, I know every location. So for me to be here is absolutely surreal. So thank you, Breezer. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're finally here, the most exciting part of the trip. We are at the Game of Thrones location in Dubrovnik and uh, taking us through this entire location is going to be Eva. So Eva has been a part of Game of Thrones and she's going to take us throughout the thing and explain to us where, what happened, how it happened and how it was. And here's the most interesting part. Our biggest fan up until now has been Kenny. Kenny, everybody! Yes. Hey. Hey, Hi, Kenny. Eva. Hi. Hi. Except this is the interesting bit. Kenny's actually not even seen a single episode of Game of Thrones. He started off as a Game of Thrones fan, but he doesn't know anything about it, right? Yeah. Kenny? Of course, he's seen the program. Really? Where are we right You've now? Seen the Whom I have seen. What is this location? A uh, steps. <laughs> and what happened here? When they get married. By they is who? The king of Game of Thrones. <laughs> right. What other location was this used as? Bathroom. <laughs> Can you tell him what this location was? So this is the Walk of Shame. Yeah, Walk of Shame. I just little. Uh, In thought... which season was the Walk of Shame? Winter. <laughs> yes. Shame. Shame. Why? Shame. Why? Shame. shame. Guys. So Kenny, this location, yeah. and she'll read the answer, okay? This location yeah. was used for two, two important parts of yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay, what were those two important locations? First was uh, the scene where he gets a haircut and everyone was like, Bro, that's so 1980s. And the second scene was when uh, they, he wakes up from a very bad stomach ache. So this was used for King's Landing and Carth, right? Yes, the City of Carth, mostly Lockroom Island. Yeah, but in City of Carth, was there no scene that someone woke up? Everyone was always <laughs> awake throughout. Oh, sure. What kind of show is this? It's a show that never sleeps. Next thing you'll tell me, the show's dragons and stuff. Well, uh. um, <laughs> well now we are in Fort of Lavrena. So it's one of Cersei's most favorite quotes. The power is power. It's one of the very like, memorable scenes. Memorable. Let's, let's, let's try enacting it. Action. Power isn't in secret boxes. Action. Power is in secrets. Power is in power. Really, that's your comeback? Yeah. Eva, you might not believe it, but we are like the top creators of content in India. <laughs> so, thank you guys. This is the end of the tour. I thank hope you. you had fun. Yes, we did. We did. Also, I hope you had fun. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Time. Yeah, Valar What? When did you get that? It's not a disease. You have to say Valar Doheris. Oh, Valar Doheris. Valar Doheris. Nice Hola. to meet you guys. Eva, you can always call me or something if, if you sure, sure, come sure. to India sometime. Yeah? <laughs> like, sure, sure. I'll show sure, you sure. my costumes. <laughs>